If you use a firearm to defend yourself, distance is your best friend. The Mantis X firearms training system attaches to any gun with a rail and to your phone via Bluetooth to track barrel movement every shot you take. Use it to help you be the most accurate, fastest shot you possibly can in a defensive encounter. I use it in my training all the time. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of the Philippines. Here we're gonna see an off-duty officer respond to a knife-wielding attacker. It's gonna teach us important lessons about maintaining distance with our firearm and not closing the distance too far against a short-range tool like a knife. We're also going to learn about entangled gunfighting and about fighting definitively until the threat's over. Guy that's walking down the screen here has uh, had the cops called on him because he's causing problems. He has a knife on him, and this officer responds. He's off duty. You can see he's plain clothes there, and the guy just ain't having it from him. Chases him down and stabs him multiple times. The officer still keeps his gun in the fight. Shoots him twice there, and when the guy keeps coming his way, shoots him a third time, which finally ends the fight. Now you can see the uniform here kind of creep up on things. He's kind of a day late and a dollar short to the party here, and our officer is badly stabbed. Who actually was in the fight? Though he continues to look around, make sure he doesn't have any more threats, and now he better start assessing injuries, and thankfully this one is over. Let's go back and learn some lessons out of this one. The first one is the officer comes down here towards this guy. You see he's got a gun up and in the fight, sees that there's problems, and, and your best bet here is to maintain distance. You have a firearm, a distance tool. Keep at distance if you possibly can. Now he doesn't do that, and because he doesn't keep that distance, this guy's not intimidated by his gun, and so he comes after him. You cannot expect a bad guy to be intimidated by your firearm. Many of them aren't, and this guy's dumb enough to come at him with a knife when the guy has a gun. We call that maybe suicide by cop or whatever. Next, you want to notice the officer had a really good weaver stance there for a little while. But when the guy starts coming at him with a knife, it evaporates pretty quick. Well, of course, we do that because we've seen in the Tuller drill so many times that you got to move. And he does move pretty well, but he ends up kind of, you know, on his backside here. Got to recognize that backing up quick is very, very difficult. You got to get that gun in the fight and use it. You can see right here that the perp has a knife in his hand, happens to have it in his left hand, which is a little bit odd. But you got to recognize once he closes that distance, the knife is just as deadly as the gun. And so you better be ready and able to defend yourself with a gun in your hand, even from your back. You can see that first stab here that the bad guy got in him. And you, you might say, well, I would have just shot the guy or whatever. Well, you might say that, but however, this guy was jumped really quickly and it changed so fast he didn't have time. And because of that, he got stabbed. You got to stay in the fight there. And the officer did a good job of staying in the fight. You see the first shot go off here. He was able to get that shot from his back between his legs and put it where it belonged. That first shot putting in the bad guy is the most important shot because it gets him thinking about something else other than shooting you. But one shot's not often enough. We can see here as we go forward a couple frames, you can see another muzzle flash from the gun. And so he got two shots off in very quick succession. That's what we really want to do with a handgun. If he needs to be shot once, chances are he's going to need to be shot more than once. And you're going to see the guy get up and get back after him. And so you see the reaction from a third shot there. As the officer reassessed, after that first initial volley, you got to reassess, is the threat over? Because he didn't see the threat was over, that the guy was coming back around at him, he took a third shot. So we continue to shoot until the threat is definitively ended. And that's what definitively ends it here. You can see the guy kind of turning away and no longer having an objective, reasonable, deadly threat. And so he stops shooting. Now his buddy, who's the other officer, is coming around here. You know, that, that guy wasn't very much help. But I love that the officer here even stabbed, having just shot a guy. You can see him turn the gun towards someone else and assess what other threats are around. Breaking that black dot focus on the threat that's right in front of you and making sure there aren't any more is an advanced skill. This officer did that very, very well. Finally, you really want to make sure that your first aid skills are up to par and you have your first aid equipment on you because this officer is badly injured. You got to be ready to do some self-care. Get yourself to the hospital as fast as you can. In an overall sense, this officer did a really good job. I would have recommended you keep a distance if you could, but he got out of the way as best he could, stayed in the fight as best he could, put shots on target as best he could, kept assessing threats as best he could. Overall, kudos to him for covering his ASP.